darlings and welcome back to another video today we're talking about a uh, specific topic called intrusive thoughts and uh, you may or may not have experienced these they come in various shapes or forms or whatever you want to say and uh, intrusive thoughts they tend to be about things that go against our uh, core values. Things we might find morally appalling or too terrible to contemplate. Where we can't really understand why we keep having the thought. Having intrusive thoughts can make you feel like you got some kind of terrible secret and you may find yourself inwardly wrestling with a fear, a mental image, or a recurring question. A question that you simply can't get out of your head. It can be exhausting and isolating to deal with this kind of mm, issue. But the good news is that it is absolutely possible to overcome it. People can and they do move on from intrusive thoughts. Further down the line you may even look back at the time that you had them and realize that you haven't thought about this for ages and it's now a distant distant chapter of your life. But the way to make this change, it isn't by fighting the thoughts. It isn't by arguing with them or trying to disprove them. It is by gradually learning to be indifferent to them. Not give them the time of the day. Studies show that everyone has bizarre, weird, violent, scary or extreme thoughts sometimes. The brain just works like that, which is why movies and novels and the internet represent the full spectrum of human experience. It's all a question of how we react to these thoughts and how much we can learn to be at ease with the weirdness and randomness of our minds. Intrusive thoughts very, very commonly demand an inhuman, impossible level of certainty from you. They ask whether you can be absolutely certain that you didn't do something or whether you can be absolutely certain that you won't do something. And in doing so, they make you doubt yourself. But engaging in that game of endless analysis in an attempt to disprove them takes you further and further away from reality. It's like getting lost in a maze or a hole of mirrors. Life isn't about inhuman levels of robotic certainty. If a conspiracy theorist with a microphone shouted at you in the street to prove that you are most certainly not an Illuminati, lizard, alien, you wouldn't lower yourself to engage in that debate. For some things in life, you just need to rise above the question, to not give that person the time of the day. 
Intrusive thoughts tend to trigger a sequence of mental actions. It often starts with a uh, doubt or a fear. Perhaps one of the worst things you could imagine or something that completely violates your moral principles. The sequence continues with you trying to disprove that fear, argue with it, seek a way of reassuring yourself or shove it out of your mind. Eventually, after minutes or hours, you may find a way to calm down and you experience a period of relief. Unfortunately, this sequence, this uh, agitation and the high emotion, and then this repeated inner battle to get rid of the thought, this can cause the brain to treat the thought as if it is important. And even when you do succeed in reassuring yourself about the thought, the whole pattern may then repeat itself just a few hours later because the brain still has that thought tagged as being important. The way to stop this thought or these types of thoughts is paradoxically to allow them but not engage with them. This stops the entire sequence dead in its tracks. When the thought becomes starved of attention, it will gradually wither away until they lose their hold over you. The brain categorizes them as irrelevant. Irrelevant noise, to be tuned out, to be forgotten over time. And that's what the uh, deeply, deeply relaxing hypnotic part of this session is going to enable you to do. Now, as you prepare to relax very deeply, you can just allow those eyes to close, or you can allow yourself to follow my fingers, gently caressing your face. And as you follow along comfortably to the sound of these words, and breathe smoothly and evenly, I'd like you to tune in to where it already feels relaxed within the body. Just take a moment now to glide your attention down from the crown of the head, relaxing more and more with each slow, smooth out breath. That's it. Gliding your attention all the way down through the body, to the tips of the toes, and noticing where it feels more relaxed, noticing where you feel most relaxed. Facial muscles softening shoulders loosening, noticing which hand is the most relaxed hand, noticing which foot is the most relaxed foot, as you allow yourself this time to let go, that's it.
no need to make any conscious effort. Just diving your attention down into the place of greatest comfort and allowing that relaxation to spread like a color permeating the body, permeating the mind, permeating the space around you with deeper and deeper calm. As you relax down even more with each number from five to one, five, recalling a really enjoyable time from years ago or a favorite place, four, allowing an enjoyable time or place to come to mind now or in a few moments as you see what you see, and you hear what you hear, and feel the sensations of this well-being and enjoyment all over again. Three, relaxing even deeper still, taking in the sights and sounds of this place, noticing what's particularly present about having all the time in the world to take in the good from this time to times deeper still. That's it. Relaxing deeper and deeper now. All the way down to one. And zero. That's it. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. All the way down to Whatever number feels right for you can notice there have been times of complete freedom, times of natural confidence and ease from the past and the future, and here in the present, more peace and ease than you might realize, like finding the ease and simplicity in deleting a spam mail where it's just gone deleted, clearing the trash, gone for good, just as one of those old chain letters that said you'd get bad luck if you didn't send it to ten other people, has now become a social media bit of nonsense where people say you have to repose something ten times to avoid bad luck or to get good luck. And you could debate with it until the end of time. How do you know for sure? But in reality, such nonsense is something a person can skim past and not give it the time of day. And I worked with a client once who had been dealing with intense, intrusive thoughts where she felt like she had to constantly justify herself against them. She felt like she had to protest to those thoughts, how they weren't true. And I invited her to this practice I'm giving you, externalizing the thoughts, turning them into a 
black and white photograph and to send that photograph off further into the distance and then to send the part that felt like those thoughts had to be disproved into the distance too so that the thought and the urge to disprove them become more distant now more detached because it can be like a dance the thought and the feeling that it has to be disproved like that client who felt like she had to prove her innocence in front of an inner judge and I said to her that thought and the compulsive urge to disprove it that's not who you are and that pattern doesn't get to control you and I remember once watching a talk by a very erudite political teacher discussing the fine details of world politics and someone in the audience asked him a tangled convoluted question about conspiracies and about whether a particular tragic event had been secretly planned by a shadowy group of elites and whether all the people involved were actors and the lecturer said with great gravitas and conviction next question and the audience member was outraged he practically had a fit because he wanted the speaker to engage with the question so that he could ambush him with endless further conspiracy theories but the lecturer didn't lower himself he didn't give the question the time of day he just moved on with the talk and began speaking to other audience members. And I said to that client, some things are just an imitation into a maze of nonsense. And you can say no to the maze in the first place. You can walk on by, just as you can send that thought off into the distance and observe it as a small black and white photo way over there. You're dialing it down so that you can observe it more calmly and objectively. That's it. just as you can send that old compulsive urge to battle with that, that old need to justify yourself and to disprove it. You can send that off into the distance as well, and to learn to say with gravitas and conviction, thanks, but no thanks. Next question. To acknowledge its presence as a thought, but to not engage with it. And a thought may protest, it may fume and stamp its feet, it may shout, how do you know, for sure, like a conspiracy theorist, full of spin and mistruths, or a chain letter trying to spook the reader into reposting it, and you can shrink it down to size, a faded black and white photograph, just brain noise.
and I invited that client to relax even deeper still and to practice this what it's like to come back to the real you who you are free from those old intrusive thoughts what it's like to reclaim your natural trust in yourself to find yourself becoming more at ease in who you are relaxing into yourself now more and more deeply and noticing the times and places we already feel this ease this calm trust in yourself times from years ago times in the years to come times already here in the present when everything settles and you instinctively live your life comfortably doing what you're doing She found that she overcame the old intrusive thoughts by seeing them for what they are, just noise. And no matter how intense the thought may have been, countless other people have had the same thought, or one nearly identical to it. And some of those people may have ended up in an inner battle, trying to disprove the thought, and perhaps it got stuck doing that for a few weeks, or months, or even years, until the whole thing passed, like a phase in their life, that they eventually got through and moved on from, and some of those people were able to just shrug it off in the first place. Because the brain can roam through the whole landscape of human experience, just like the uh, wide variety of films, books, music, TV shows, all of it capturing the full spectrum, the full spectrum of what the human imagination can create. And you can find more ease with your own thoughts now and you can find more ease in the space between beneath and behind the thoughts as you relax more and more deeply into yourself now that's it And over time, an old worry from when you were at school can be so long ago that you can't recall what it was, just as you can forget to remember the names of people in your class all those years ago, just as you can tune out what's not relevant, like dialing down the noise. A volume dial, dialing it down, everything's quietening, that's it. just get a sense of a future you 
in the coming days, looking and feeling so much more free from that old intrusive thought pattern. Are you, who is already so much more free from it, like a weight had lifted, feeling clearer, more confident, more at ease in yourself. these positive changes continuing further and further into the future you can know that a year ago from a year from now it'll feel like a very long time that you were listening on this particular day 12 months will have passed four seasons and you can just notice how much longer ago that old, out-of-date, intrusive thought pattern looks like a distant chapter in your life and how you can really relax in yourself. Like breathing a deep sigh of relief and release. Okay, to really relax into a deeper sense of ease and calm within now and that's it You can listen to this session often and each time that you do you can free yourself from that old intrusive thought pattern even more thoroughly and for now it's time to prepare to come all the way back to full alertness back to the here and now as one you notice the position of your body and the sensation of whatever it is you're resting on. And that's it. Two, feeling refreshed and alert. That's it. Three, feeling very good. Coming all the way back now. Four, and you might like to have a nice shred as you do so. And that's it. And five. Whenever you are ready, you can just open your eyes and welcome back.